does. Wear a light-colored costume short enough so you don't trip. If you wear a mask, make sure you can see. Makeup's better. Don't crisscross the street. Call on one side, then the other. Parents, set boundaries and a time to be home. Carry a flashlight for extra safety. And let's all have a safe Halloween. Oh, boy. There should be some wildlife around here. Surprise! The McDonald's Happy Meal, guys. Yep, a Snicker McDonald's. Regular soft drink and regular fries. And they aren't lying. Lion! What do you put in your McDonald's Halloween pumpkins? Booty McBoo, matey. Carrot and McGoblin. Golden McPumpkin, partner. Now you can collect one of three different pumpkins with the purchase of every McDonald's Halloween pumpkin Happy Meal. What you put in them is up to you. Halloween shopping doesn't have to be a nightmare. <laughs> Come to Partyland and save. Seven locations with prices so low, it's scary. Jason takes Manhattan. New York has a new problem. Rated R. Starts Friday, July 28th at Theaters Everywhere. to celebrate Halloween than with a tall, cool pumpkin smoothie. And a tall, cool hunk. Cool it, Nikki. You don't want to overheat yourself in this weather. Man, that pumpkin smoothie really hit the spot. I could go for another. I'll get it for you, Troy. No, I will. No sweat, ladies. I can handle it myself. Happy Halloween, guys! With all this California sunshine, it's hard to believe it's Halloween. It's suddenly beginning to feel like Halloween to me. Because here comes our first witch. Guys, I have the most exciting news! Really? What is it? Well, it just so happens that my parents are leaving on an extended business trip. So? What's the big news about that? Don't you see? Now, I'll be able to give the social event of the season, the first annual Bianca Dupree Halloween party. Radical. A party? All right. I'm ready to party hardy. Is it a costume party? I hope. Naturally. What's Halloween without costumes? In fact, there'll even be a prize for the best one, which I will no doubt be wearing. All right. <laughs> Get down! Oh. We got down, all right. Oh, 
Navajo blade. The costumes make me go webcore. Where did you find it? In my closet. It came with my western saddle. squeeze me all out of shape. Goodness! I wonder how Bianca managed to arrange for all these incredible special effects. Luckily, she was able to hire Steven Spielberg on his day off. Really, Bradley? Don't you get enough waves at the beach? Gordon! Leave it to Bianca to think of bobbing for caviar. Haven't you heard, darling? Bobbing for apples is so good. Settle down, children. This party is getting entirely out of... <laughs> if Mr. and Mrs. Supri ever learned of this wild affair, they'd have an absolute pity. Something about that volume! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> wow! That spot looks too really important! Isn't it nice when the older generation joins in with us kids? <sighs> I should have pursued a less dangerous occupation, like joining a bomb disposal unit. Stop! Stop doing this! Everyone! I'm about to make my grand entrance! It out. Absolutely stunning. Oh my. Hmm, it looks like first size is as good as mine. Great costume, Bianca. Dino too. Walking like an Egyptian. Yes. I did think it was quite original myself. That will be the doorbell. I don't believe it. Remo to the extreme. Where is everyone going? You haven't finished admiring me yet. Oh. Wow, that outfit is simply gorgeous. Dynamite does. I'm sorry I'm late, but it took me quite a while to put this costume together. No problem. This is what I definitely worth waiting for. Okay, gang. How about giving her some room? Bianca, hi! What? Oh, oh the nerve! How dare she! <laughs> I have to admit it. You have excellent taste in costumes. Well, I can see originality is not one of your stronger traits. Really, Bianca? It's just a silly coincidence. Huh. Don't play innocent with me. I know what goes on in that Cupid doll brain of yours. Whatever do you mean? 
You found out what I was wearing tonight and couldn't stand the thought of being outdone. Honestly, Bianca, I had no idea we were wearing the same costume. If it'll make you feel better, I'll be Cleopatra's twin sister. There is only one Cleopatra. Me! Hey, lighten up, Bianca. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, like Mellow out. Right. I'm sure it wasn't Lark's fault. Besides, it's only a costume party. Traitors! All of you! Come along, slaves. I don't wish to be in the same room with that pretender to the throne. Poor Bianca. She's really taking this thing seriously, isn't she? Forget it, Lark. You'll see. She'll get over it soon. Right, and become her old, unbearable self again. I'm sorry, but the shop is already closed. Not if someone uses his key to open it up again. You mean... Uh-uh. No way. There's a rule against doing that. No. Don't tell me a big, strong, macho man like you is afraid of bending a few teensy rules to help out poor little me. Well, uh, that is, uh, what I mean is... Pretty please. Well, okay. Don't worry, I won't disturb a thing. Now, where is an Indian costume in my size? Ah, here we are! Indian elegance! Well, how do I look? I'd tell you if I could see you! This ought to cover it. Thank you. I'll never forget you for this. Wait! You didn't even tell me your name! It's Pocahontas! But don't call. Just send smoke signals! Just wait till Lark beats her baby blues on this outfit. Everybody, I'm back. Enough, Tom Tom Dum Dum. Hmm. It looks like the drones are buzzing around their Queen Bee Lark. Well, the Queen is about to have her throne pulled out from under her. 
Hello, boys. How? How? How dare you? You did it to me again! You see, I felt kind of bad about showing up in the same Cleopatra costume as you, so I went home and changed to this. And you're going to have to change again, right now. Really, Bianca? But why? Because it's my party and I said so. I've got an idea. If one of us wins, we can share first prize. The word share is not in my vocabulary. But Bianca! All right, boys and girls, it's like time to line up and strut your stuff. Ready when you are, Radley. I'm aiming to vote me first prize. Good luck, everybody. You too, Bianca. Are you ready, judges? Send out the first contestant. All right, here he is, the handsomest hunk of in all of Hunkdom, contestant numero uno. Hit it, Jet! Now that's what I call a real swinger. I sure second that motion. And now, contestant numero two, Buckaroo Blaze. like a child over this costume business. And to show you how sorry I am, I'd like to make you a peace offering, just like us Indians. Why, Bianca, how sweet. Oh, no! I'll get it. Of me. And now, contestant number three, Bianca. I'd like to help you clean up, but I'm afraid it's my turn now. My turn to win first prize, that is. Don't mow it out, Bianca. Let somebody else have a chance. Of course. And last, but for sure not least, the ever-lovable Lark. I said, the ever-lovable Lark. What happened to Lark? I haven't the foggiest. I'd better check this out. Come on, Lark. It's your turn. I'm dropping out, Troy. Dropping out? But why? Bianca accidentally spilled lunch all over me. Lark, something tells me that was no accident. If you drop out now, you're giving Bianca exactly what she wants. Hmm. I never thought of it that way. Then you'll go out there? Sure. Why not? Just as I planned it, Lark wouldn't dare enter the contest in her condition. What? I don't believe it. She's really done it this time.
here and now, the awesome moment you've all been waiting for, the winner of the Golden Ghost Trophy. Judges, your decision, please. And the lucky winner is... I can feel that trophy in my deserving hands now. Lark, for her ecology-conscious wet look. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know what to say. Well, I do. Everybody, out of my house right now. Get out! Talk about your sore losers. After I go to the trouble of throwing this party, you have the nerve to give the first prize to somebody else! Out! Everybody, out! Time to split! You got that right! And don't ever come back! It's a good thing my parents won't be home for two whole weeks. It's going to take that long to clean up this mess. Heavens! What a mess! I just said that. By the way, your parents called to say their trip was cancelled. Cancelled? What time were they returning home? About Bianca. Isn't it though? How long is she grounded for? Two entire weeks. Poor Bianca. I know it sounds funny, but I kind of miss her already. Hi and Beanie, join the pumpkin patch for Halloweeny. A bat for your belfry, a pet for your pal. You'll shock them like a professional. With things from Hallmark, it's no bother. One Halloween take deserves another. Head for this Halloween boo bazaar where Hallmark products rest. But only when you care enough to send the very best. <laughs> Great cereal, Frankenberry. Frankly, it's very good. Our visitor, perhaps he'd like a monster for breakfast today. Frankenstein! This monster's not on the menu! But Frankenberry cereal is? <laughs> Strawberry flavored marshmallows? <laughs> it's part of this complete breakfast! Good! I want a monster for breakfast today! For real! 
who's brave enough to play Ghost Castle? The victims journey room by room. They take their chances. Along the way, anything can happen, and usually does. To win, you must reach the coffin and lay the ghost. No. Will anybody survive Ghost Castle from NB Games? In 2086, two peaceful aliens journeyed to Earth, seeking our help. In return, they gave us the plans for our first hyperdrive, allowing mankind to open the doors to the stars. We have assembled a team of unique individuals to protect Earth and our allies. Courageous pioneers committed to the highest ideals of justice and dedicated to preserving law and order across the new frontier. These are the adventures of the Galaxy Rangers. Check this out. I'm getting a visual on the long-range scanner. A large object, 75 sectors outside of the solar system. No radio, no lasers, no heat, nothing. Too big to be a battle cruiser, and it appears to be drifting. Course projection indicates rendezvous, Earth. There's something else. Anti-matter pause. And a detonator. Transmit all data to Commander Walsh at Beta Mountain. Sir, as you can see, the object is 10 miles in diameter and headed for Earth. Deep space scan shows an antimatter detonation device on board. Does not respond to hailing on any frequency in any language. It's the size of a small moon. A gift from the Queen of the Crown? A bomb of that size could destroy this entire planet. I want the Galaxy Rangers out there immediately. I wish we could study this artifact. An object that size could house some incredible secrets. Hold on, Zozo. You will accompany the Galaxy Rangers. But that intruder is not to reach Earth. Galaxy Rangers, good luck, team. Elma, coordinate our flight plan with Ranger 1. All set, please. Copy. Doc, try a full spectrum scan. Right. Scanner's on. Magnificent! Look at the size of that thing! Let's not forget what we're dealing with. Yeah, the largest bomb ever built. No reply to our signals. It's silent as a tomb. Scanners show no life forms. It's just drifting. Going in for a closer look. <laughs> Looks like the station was playing possum, Captain. Loose, be careful. It must have some automatic defenses. <laughs> Uh, 
Captain, it's open the landing bay. Shall we accept their invitation? Loose, proceed with caution. Roger. Station must be pre-programmed. These power surges should lead us to the master computer. Life support systems are still functioning. There's an Earth standard oxygen nitrogen atmosphere. Galaxy Rangers, move out. I wonder how old this thing is. Nico, can you use your power on the station itself? I'll give it a try. This station is thousands of years old. It was sent drifting through space when the planet it was orbiting was destroyed. There's no one left here. <laughs> Welcome! Welcome, fellow Enolans. It is I, Speck. We are all waiting for you. I thought you said this place was deserted. These are not real life forms. Maybe they're ghosts. Now, Zozo, don't be ridiculous. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. Step aside, my goose man. Would either of you lovely ladies care to dance? <laughs> huh? Huh? They're nothing but holograms. Wow, that looks like fun. A foolish waste of time, if you ask me, Zozo. Still, it is an interesting example of a unique alien custom, obviously the product of a highly advanced culture. Oh boy, my turn! Hey, bartender. I am so glad you have finally returned from Enola. Listen, we're not from Enola. Oh no! Then you are the enemy. Take it easy, Speck. I must complete my function. Ghosts! They're all ghosts! Calm down, Zozo. There are no such things as ghosts. <laughs> Watch it! <laughs> Whoa, do This station's haunted! Zozo, I've had enough of your superstitious nonsense! On Andor, even the smallest child knows there's no such thing! Zozo! Wait for me! Come back here, you little kiwi! Nico, Captain, can you hear me? Move it, yeah. Doc! Well, somebody's having a good time. Too bad it's not me. Fighting ghosts wasn't in the Galaxy Ranger job description. Ghosts? <laughs> You're as bad as Zozo. That's right, I'm bad. I hope you see what I see, Goose Man. This is impossible. We're inside a space station. I've never seen such detailed holography. We've got to find the others. Find the others? How are we going to find our way out of here? Zachary, over there! Incredible. See if you can get any impressions. Nico, stay close. Zachary, where are you? Nico! Oh. 
Nico, don't move! Newer holograms. The armor's real, but it's hollow. A robot? No, there's nothing inside of it. <laughs> It must have been guided by remote control. Come on, let's get out of here. I simply cannot run another step. Me neither. I don't care if the ghosts do get me. Now look here, Zozo. You know there must be some kind of logical explanation for all this. Yeah? Ghosts! I refuse to believe such a foolish notion. It is complete and utter nonsense. Hmm. Interesting. Stay close, Sozo. We don't want to get separated. Now let me see. History of the planet Enola. It figures. Give him a book and he forgets about everything else. No such thing as ghost. Hm. Huh? Quiet, Zozo. Listen to this. Hey, yo! <laughs> Zozo? Zozo! Now, where could that little Kiwi be? I told him not to wander off. Zozo! Zozo! Don't leave me here all alone. Help, help! Zozo! Where are you? Over here, behind the wall. Now, how did you get in such a predicament? <laughs> Boy, that was scary. Thanks for freeing me, Waldo. Go, go. Waldo, where are you? Hmm, it's about time. The things I go through for you. It's not my fault that this space station is haunted. Zozo, how many times do I have to tell you there are no such things as ghosts? It's all illusions and tricks. Astonishing. Another secret passageway. If only we had some light. Thanks, Sozo. That's much better. Sozo, <laughs> what are you trying to say? <laughs> Help me! Sozo, something's on my head! Where? I don't see anything. <laughs> Not another word about this station being haunted! <laughs> I'm warning you! Zozo, I fear something strange is happening. Ghosts! We've looked everywhere. There must be some way out of here. Ooh, ah, this place is driving me batty. Darn varmints. Another hologram. Look at the bright side. The hollows can't get much worse. Hmm? Goose, you not! Get down! Get funky! I've had enough of this garbage. Come on, Speck! Give me a little charge! Brighter than you look. The energy drain should dampen his spirits. This way, Doc. You can't be serious. He is. Here we go. Hmm? 
More fun and games. Any sign of the detonation device? Too much interference. I can't tell what's inside. Be careful. <gasps> They're just an X-ray projection of us. Up there. I've had enough. Show yourself. We're through playing these games. Take us to our friends. This way. This place must be controlled by a central computer. If I could just get my fingers on that central mainframe. This cloth was torn from Waldo's tunic. Goose, you're a superhuman bloodhound. Man, what will he do without me? Goose! Waldo! Zozo! Nico! Zachary! Can anybody hear me? What do I do now? Maybe I should just wait here and see if anybody shows up. Whoa! What have we here? Hmm? Hmm. Huh. Aha! At last. Maybe now I'll get to the bottom of this. Greetings. Speck, you chip off the old bite. What's the story here? I am the supreme creation of the ancient Enolan civilization. Programmed to complete my last function, I regret. Last? What is it? I must protect Enola. I am a doomsday device. And my function is to destroy your planet. Why? We are not your enemy. My purpose is to preserve peace. Only Enolans can alter my program. This has not been done. Now, I must complete my last function. There are no Enolans left to protect. Speck, you've been waiting to destroy an enemy that doesn't exist. I don't want to hurt you. I tried to frighten you away, but you wouldn't leave. I must complete my function. It's too late. Nothing can be done. Nothing. You must release my friends. Tripwire, old buddy. Do your worst. Let me at it! You can't stop the timer, even with your magic. Quiet! The doctor is operating. How about it, Tripwire? This thing's gonna blow, Doc. I can add a loop to the timer program. That would slow it down. It's the best I can do, Doc. That feels much better. Thank you for visiting me. It's been real. The landing bay is at the end of the corridor, but you must hurry. What about you, Speck? I will complete my... Goose, there isn't enough time to get out of range. We'll have to jam sync the hyper shunts. Three flight codes locked. Ignition. Hyperflux ready for jam sync. Ready to 
make the jump. Not enough flux charge. Not yet, Zach. Okay. Punch it! Goodbye, Speck. Speck's countdown. It started so far from Earth. He must have triggered it early, before entering our system. What a waste. Think what we could have learned from that computer. Poor Speck. Programmed to destroy. Speck sacrificed himself to save us. And everyone in the galaxy will see that explosion, like a newborn star, with a message of peace. Sunday movie, the Davises are moving into a new house. Definite fixer upper. Where the tenants are deceased, <coughs> but not departed. This house is not haunted. Keep an eye out for the boogity man. What boogity man? Boogity boogity. Now it's every man, woman, and child for himself. I saw him. What a weirdo. Dad's gonna negotiate with Mr. Hamburger face. It's spirited family fun. <coughs> Mr. Boogity. I'd move. What? No dip? For a really great Halloween, pick up tons of Pepsi and Doritos. It was late one night in the castle of the Chicken McNuggets. What are you making? Sauce. We're using my mummy's recipe. Mummy? Uh oh. This better be good. It'll be great. Hmm, does your daddy have a recipe? <laughs> Now you can get McDonald's Happy Meal Pails for Halloween. There's a pumpkin pail, Boo! a witch, Boo! and a ghost Boo! that glows in the dark. You can get a different one each week until Halloween. Ooh. Delicious. Very tasty. Who's here? Who's here? Ghost. ghost. Our town Chocula cereal. It's it's haunted. Yummy marshmallow ghosts. <laughs> Scary bats and new spooky ghost marshmallows are haunting all the monster cereals. They're the ghostly part of this complete breakfast.
hold it. No, no, no. Wrong movie. Permit me to introduce myself. I am Count Dracula, Prince of Darkness, and I will be your host for this Halloween tale. Tonight, I shall present the story of a small town full of silly people and the terrifying visitation that passed through their lives all on one night. The sun is going down in San Zucchini, but then, aren't we all more at home in the dark? Happy Halloween, everybody. <sighs> I don't know, Chad boy. No one wants to try my special Halloween pizza. Yeah, what's on it? Pumpkin and candy corn. There, there, Uncle Wilbur. I'm sure that F.T. would like some, wouldn't you, F.T.? Here you go, little fella. Good dog. Maybe some TV will make you feel better. And now, Wacko Spooko Chiller Theater. And here is your hostess, Mrs. Whitvira, Mistress of the Dank. I told you this was a dumb idea. And now, tonight's feature Revenge of the 48 Foot Eggplant. <laughs> In a few minutes, San Zucchini won't know what hit it. <laughs> what is it, Uncle Wilbur? It's a spicy one. My super gut buster jalapeno chili pepper and menudo. Fourth of July already? Quiet! They failed! My glorious tomato balloons have failed! Well, at least it was a glorious failure, your highly harassedness. Igor, my lad, what you fail to realize is that a glorious failure is still a failure! <laughs> I should give up, close the lab, and move to my other... Bogus! Someone stopped the film! I did. What are you doing here? You're supposed to be narrating. Well, didn't you get the Transylvanian serum I sent you? You must have! Syrup? Yum. It is essential to the plot. No, it's too dangerous. A tomato affected by that serum would be uncontrollable. <laughs> Have it your way. <laughs> now, where's that syrup? Permit 
me to reduce myself. I am Count Spatula, Prince of Darkness, and I am invincible. <laughs> When Zoltan drank the serum, a great evil was unleashed on Sam Zucchini, as gangrene was soon to find out. Hurry, I have things to do, places to go, people to buy. Either he's dead or my watch has stopped. Not <laughs> bad, foolish mortal. I'm bad. I am a vampire. Call. A vampire! Uh, what's a vampire? He means vampire, you deadbolt. <laughs> okay. Whoa, nice suit, dude. On Halloween, how nice I shall use you to attack Sanzucchini, the world's first vampire tomato. Perhaps, if I can fit you into my busy schedule. Come back here, you traitor! <laughs> so many necks, so little time. Ow! No, 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 no. No biting and no blood. Not on a cartoon show. How can I be a vampire if I cannot bite your neck? What am I supposed to do? Kiss it? Yes, kissing is nice. I want to kiss your neck? Eh, I guess I can bite that. <laughs> The kiss of ketchup. I like it. Your custom of Halloween is so charming, Chad. People give away all these lovely sweets. Yeah, my dentist just loves it. Tara? Yes, Chad? Look at that. I don't think I've ever seen so many vampire costumes before. Chad, what is a vampire? A legendary creature that drinks human blood, cannot die, and dresses up a lot. Oh, <laughs> there must be lots of fun at parties. Let's get some more candy. Did you see that? Come on, FT, let's find Tara. Possibilities, Igor. <laughs> Whoa, gee, Master, this bad flapping looks like fun. Hey, you know what? Oh, wicked! I wish I could. Fly. Igor, what? Stop that, you surf simp! The serum is designed for tomatoes. Humans don't get wings. What do we do now, you grimness? The whole town is turning into vampires. So, like, how does that help us? Soon there'll be no human necks left to kiss. Then those vampires will wander off, seeking new necks on which to feed, and San Zucchini will be ours. <laughs> Master. Bell ah, ah, ah. Igor, <laughs> we should go. Huh? Oh, right. Your Transylvaniosity. Blah blah blah. <laughs> behind this somehow. Our series. Yeah, lots of vampires. Tara, come look at this. Tara? How about a little kiss, booby?
back and save you later. When we figure out how to save ourselves. But I only wanted to give you a kiss. It has been a wonderful Halloween night. Santuquinians are making a dashing fashion statement. Now that tuxedo looks okay on Whitley, but uh, I liked his Elvira outfit better. Uh, are you about done, friends of yours? <laughs> We're closed! <laughs> Look! <laughs> Excuse me. Ah, that's better. Now then, as Gangrene rightly feared, everything was out of control. Wildly out of control. A horde of ketchup vampires had Wilbur and Tomato Guy surrounded. What a Halloween this was turning out to be. that F.P. had disappeared, and the lovely Tara had become a real vamp. And always alert for new opportunities, Dr. Gangrene had already figured out how to capitalize on this situation. Welcome to Doc Gangrene's Vampire Village. Oh, great idea, your showmanship. We'll make a fortune. And conquer San Zucchini in the bargain. And then, then we will have the perfect cover for my newest scheme. Transylvania tomatoes. As excited crowds flock to my tourist mecca, my tomatoes will sweep down on them and bluey. Yaha! 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 Uh, but what about the tomato task force? A good point. Perhaps we shall see in the next scene. Doc Gangreen's vampire village, where the toxic waste meets the sea in the beautiful San Zucchini. Hello? Hello? Tomato task force? Hello? Operator, I've been cut off. It's a conspiracy. Do you think everything's a conspiracy? Everything is. Look! This is the end. We're doomed. If we're gonna go down, we're gonna go down. Fight! You can't do that. They're our neighbors. You're right. I think I saw this scene in a movie once. Yeah? What happened? You don't want to know. <laughs> Heroes. Uh, 275. 
Here's three dollars. Can you wait? Why not? Don't try this at all. Here I come. Easy, easy, easy. There's a switch here somewhere. Whoops! Wrong switch. This is it. I've made my last anchovy and butter brickle pizza. Never again will I fire up the oven. Stop trying to cheer me up. We're going to be turned into vampires, and I hate dressing up. Come on, hurry! The meter's running on the alligator. Keep the change. Uh, thanks a lot. This is Gangrene's factory. Who else could be behind vampire tomatoes? Right. Let's get him. Charge! Stand and deliver. Up the rebels. Fifty-four forty are right. Is he crazy? I'd say so. Yes. Tell me how to turn him back into people, or I'll cut. Me a slice of dang green pizza. But there is no cure. Vampirism is a permanent condition. Look. And there. You're finished, Pinlata. This looks like the end. You're right. It is. What time is it, Uncle Wilbur? Hmm. Yeah. Uh, uh, Twenty-five minutes after twelve. Five o'clock. Five o'clock. That's the big hand. Oh, oh.、Uh, why, Chad? Because sunrise is at 5:01. Watch. Deal. So the kid has an almanac. But tonight, when the sun sets, they'll all be vampires again, and they'll make more vampires. <laughs> Nothing can stop me now. I've won. I've won. <laughs> Not so fast. But you're a vampire. How come you didn't?、Uh... Sunblock number ninety-nine. My own invention. I must apologize for giving this yo-yo my vampire formula. I am taking it back. The people of San Zucchini don't have the class to be vampires, and we don't need the bad press. Here, the antidote. Mix it with your pizzas, feed it to the locals, and your vampire problems are over. And squash those tomatoes. And now, as for Gang Green, now where'd he go? We end a lot of shows this way. Shut up and run! So the vampire thing didn't work. Part the bat image. It's so primal. I like bats. They're survivors. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, are you sure this is safe? In a moment, Igor. So I decided to borrow the look with the assistance of my faithful flunky here. You wanted to fly, Igor. Are you ready? No. Is this gonna hurt? Not if you learn how to fly. <laughs> Can't we talk this over, Master? <laughs> Uncle Ted here. Every weekday, Bobby's World's got more surprises than you can shake a ten-foot pole at. That's something you don't see every day, huh? <laughs> hey, what am I saying? Of course you do. When you watch Bobby's World every weekday here on Fox Kids, I don't know what I was thinking. Stop them anyway! Send in the Marines. We're the space.
Marines, Drake, Ripley, Eight Bone, Bishop, and I'm Hicks, armed with the latest high-tech heavy metal. Look out, Hicks! The Queen's gonna crown you! My Bug Rocker's on a roll! Bull alien attacking! Eat torch, Bug Brain! Alien invasion problem? Send in the Marines! Aliens! Send in the Marines! Space Marines! Aliens! A most chilling experience is waiting for you. You can make your next party a real screen with a Goosebumps ice cream cake for a limited time from your local TCBY treat shop. A taste so good you can send shivers down your friend's taste buds. <laughs> TCBY Goosebumps ice cream cakes for a limited time. And for $5, you can get TCBY treats, gift certificates, and offers from Walden Books, Party City, and DreamWorks Interactive. Carve a big pumpkin smile, glowing ever so bright. Sure, and I'm a leprechaun, not a pumpkin. Halloween's hero will visit tonight. Hail Halloween! When the witches and goblins come out to play, only one jack-o'-lantern can scare them away. You ain't seen nothing yet! Don't miss the true story of Jack O'Lantern. A pre-Halloween special tonight at 7 on WTZA. Our count eats a Reese's peanut butter cup. I like to eat the peanut butter first. <laughs> There's no wrong way to eat a Reese's. What a revoltingly charming example of the urban underclass. Grease pit. <laughs> yeah, boy. A set about making it worthy of condemnation. Would you please? Huh? Destroy it! Oh, yeah, 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 you got it, boys. Oh, and by the way, dear boy, places like this are often rodent-infested. A perfect place to set up Operation Mousetrap, wouldn't you say? Gotcha, boss. That's a surefire mouse detractor. Now, for the real thing. Oh, Charlie, do we gotta do this? Yeah, come on, babe. They didn't cover floor scrubbing back in cool school. You're the ones who spilled the transmission fluid. Besides, I'm busy. Emergency, emergency. Fires and explosions at 15th and J Street. They're playing our song. Come on, bros, let's ride. Oh, no, you don't. This time, I'm getting in on the action. I've got it! Uh, 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 uh. Sorry, Charlie girl, but this is a job for men. Studly men. Such as ourselves. Especially me. Oh. Hold the board, babe. We'll be back. <laughs> Let's rock! And ride! Oh, those mice! Whoa, someone sure did a number on this place. Yeah, and I bet that number adds up to one big fat cheese. Limburger. Help! Someone help Guys, me! Guys, there! Help! Help! Someone help me! Someone's trapped. Come on! Help! Help! Someone help me! Someone's been pulling our tails. Ain't nobody trapped here. I can fix that, mousies. Can't move! Now we're trapped. Talk about your male bonding.
Say, doll, want to watch me stomp some goons? Mono, see if you can get those fire trucks in here. No problem. Probably feels right at home. Oh, no! Sweetheart, you are awesome! Whoever you are. Uh, I wanna go home. <laughs> oh, showed him, huh? Dom? Dom? Where'd you go? Hey, Charlie, we're back. Oh, the place looks great, babe. Any more of that root beer left? So, did you save the city again? Or did you doubt? Hey, not only did we save the city... But we met the single most awesome banker babe in the entire universe. Whoopee. Hey, she looked cool. She looked rad. She looked cool. She, she looked, looked rad. She looked cool. cool. She looked rad. I don't really want to look Oh, boy. A grease pit. You screwed it up again! <laughs> Sorry, boss. Well, I have no time to deal with you now. Plutok is in desperate need of raw petroleum products. Now get out. Carbuncle! Yes, your moldiness. I need oil. Lots of oil. By Thursday. Hmm. The local refinery should have more than enough your kingly curdledness. <laughs> and I know just the fellow to help us get it. Corroder Cody, at your service, partner. Corroder Cody has the unique ability to dissolve metal at a touch. That refinery will be slag in second. You... You... Hmm. Will this talent of yours work on other metals, like... motorcycles? Sure as shoot, partner. Excellent. This looks like the place. All right, partners. Let's start spilling oil. Trouble at Refinery Station 7. Mayday! Ah! <laughs> hey, buddies! This is Sweet Georgie Brown. Now, here's Metallic Crash with... Ah! What? I didn't know they did a Beatles tune. <laughs> 
That's no song. That's a distress call. The indicators say it's coming from the refinery. Let's go. Uh, no dice drum. Mm -hmm. This is macho muscle he-man work. Remember? I noticed you left the part out about brains. Hey, it's for your own good, Charlie. You might get hurt. Say, maybe that masked motorcyclist lady will be there. Oh, yeah. Hey, if she can do it, why can't I? <laughs> <It's> cute. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Charlie, we think you're the best motorcycle mechanic this side of Mars. But the masked motorcyclist is really something special. Look, let's face it, sweetheart. It takes some Mondo motorcycle madness to pull off the stunts she does. I hope you're listening to yourself. I'd love to record this. Hey, speaking of recording, you got your camera, Vinny? Oh, you bet, bro. Gotta start chronicling my exploits for posterity. Okay, enough talk, guys. Let's ride! Oh, what a bunch of wrench heads! you boys don't have much use for doughnuts. My, my, my. Looks like the old gang again, plus one. Ah, I didn't know you could add, bro. <laughs> I may not know everything about math, but I know how to total things. I think it's time to knock these mangy prairie dogs down the side. <sighs> Feels like Limburger's sitting on me. Say bye-bye to the rat race, Mousy. <laughs> <laughs> Pretending you see something behind me? You won't catch me falling for that old trick. <laughs> I gotta get some health insurance. <laughs> I can tell. Whoa, ma'am, that's one righteous horse you got. I'd sure like to check out your bike sometime. Wow, what a piece of work. And the driver's not bad either. Time to vaporize them vermin. Now that thing's nastier than a shark with a machine gun. Then we better go fishing. <laughs> You're messing with the baddest mamma jammers from Mars, you metal meathead. Yeah! What is that? Quit hosting around, fish bag! Ventilate them dang mothers! Keep your hands off at the control! You keep your hands off! Rolling for the big one. Let's make this look good, bro. Come on, I got a babe to impress. Yo, they're gonna ram us. Chicken! <laughs> Get the way, dog. Woo, we cooked a live one. Let's get real. <laughs> hey, this one's a keeper. Get us out of here, you idiot! We're too heavy. I gotta dump the load. Wahoo! There she blows! Where's that rocket lever? This is part! Stop touching things! We gotta get out of here! Dang! Charlie will never believe it's about the one that got away. Hey, speaking of which, where's that masked motorcyclist? Oh, man, she split again. Oh, maybe I'm just too cool and too handsome and stuff. Makes her nervous. Yeah. Or maybe it's just your incredible humility. Mm -hmm. Could be, you know, could be. <sighs> Always got an ego bigger than Limburger's rear end. But at least I had this baby running. Let's go strike some prints of my new princess. <laughs> About time. I have other things to do, you know, besides... Oh, yeah. What a night. What a fight. What a dog. What a bike. What a bunch of... So, I suppose Ms. Wonderful was there again tonight. <laughs> was she ever? Yep, that lady can cook all right. But you know, one thing makes me curious. How does the masked motorcyclist always know? Oh, hey, these things are cold. Well, excuse me. Maybe you should ask your hot bimbet buddy to warm them up. Oh, holy moly. 
Something we said? Failure again. If I don't obtain a vast quantity of oil soon, the High Chairman will render it from my hide. I must find another source of oil. Uh, you mean like an oil field, Buzz? Mmm, oil. Crude oil. <gasps> I've got it! An oil field! I'll go straight to the source. Yes! Truly, I am a genius. <laughs> yes, yes. Carbuncle! You bellowed your malodorous nest. I'd like an oil field, Carbuncle. All of it. No problem, old rounded one. As a matter of fact, I have just this moment imported Corroda Cody's Rustmobile. Oops, I'm sorry about that. It should enable us to destroy every derrick in an oil field, creating a huge spill for you to uh, suck up and ship to Plutarch. Excellent. And if those blasted by Kamaisa and their cycle sidekick barge it again, them hombres will see how much fun their pretty bikes are when they're nothing but puddles of slag. <laughs> Motorcyclist is a mean motorcycle, Mama Jamma, huh? <laughs> Heck, she's almost as cool as me. <laughs> almost. Oh, your move, Vincent. And <laughs> no way she could just jump that bike of hers. Jump, 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 jump. Hey, that was my last man. You think that's jumping? Watch this. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. <laughs> Who says Chinese checkers is a quiet game? I've noticed that none of the games we play are quiet. I hope we didn't wake up Charlie. Nope. Still asleep. Hey, what's that? That's Moore's code. What's it say, Moto? It says... Wait, <sighs> she wants us to follow her. <laughs> yeah, I'll follow her anywhere. Oh, sweetheart! Ooh, should we tell Charlie we're going? Nah, she's out like a light. Let's keep it that way. Let's rock and ride. Hey, it's the biker mice. And that itty friend of theirs. Stay clear of that guy's rose. All the oil in the world won't stop his rust. Get to work, Cody. Greasefoot and I will handle these wretched rodents. You don't got it. Y'all keep them busy. And me and Rusty, you'll take out the main derrick. Once that thing blows, y'all gonna have more oil than you ever imagined. <laughs> Monsters ain't so slick. Come on, guys. Uh, and, and you too, man. Yeah. 
Yeah, you could shred with the best of them, babe. Heads up, Rose. Cody's almost to the main Derek. We best take our leave. When that Derek blows, the resulting wave of oil will wash away these vermin for good. <laughs> now, let's give old Grease Pit a barrel of laughs. <laughs> we'll have him rolling. Oh, yeah, take this, Mousy. I don't think this be a good time to ask Mr. Limboy to get a raise. Well, that should hold him for a while. Bruce, look! Oh, no. Charlie, Charlie, wake up! It's the masked motorcyclist. She's hurt. Her helmet's melted. Come on, we're trying to get it off. We need your help. Charlie! Woo! <laughs> Charlie? Hi, guys. Surprise! Charlie! But, but, she, but she was, you are... I'm just ordinary, huh? Would just get in the way. Wasn't that how you put it? Uh-oh. You could have told us. I did tell you, you adorable fur brains, but you never listened. It was my new prototype bike for Washington. I figured I could test it out <laughs> and prove something to you lummoxes at the same time. Well, you did that all right. Me and my big mouth. Yep. Your foot fits inside it very well, if I do say so. Hey, we owe you a big apology, babe. At least. But Charlie, I, I mean, the reason we didn't want you with us is because you might get hurt, and you did. I don't want you getting hurt. Moto, you and the guys all run risks. The point is, I didn't get hurt because I'm a woman. I got hurt because I did something dangerous. Oh, and I think I'll retire for a while. Well, you still proved your point. I guess none of us should judge a book by its cover. Even if it is leather-bound. Please. Say, but what about Limber? It's a shame to think he'll get away with all that destruction. Now, on the way back, I sent him a package. Special delivery. Oh, what's this? No! No! Perhaps I should get into a new line of work. talk tough movies here's a superhero with the biggest pair of all you looking for me there she was just walking down the street singing this elvira is a slimy slithering succubus a concubine a streetwalker a trap yes she's got it all she's everything you've ever wanted in a movie a woman and a casserole. You'll see lots of weird romance. What's that perfume you're wearing? Super unleaded. Don't smoke. Loads of drooling madness. Ew, I hope you change the sheets. Hey, Elvira, we got us a couple more volunteers. Great, just grab a tool and start banging. A whole gang of awesome monsters. I'm bad, Jamal, you know it. And a few sleazy experiments. And there's nothing wrong with G-rated movies as long as there's lots of sex and violence. The charge is witchcraft. We want to have one of these every year. See 
Elvira. As Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. But if they ever ask about me, tell them I was more than just a great set of... It's the greatest double feature of all time. me, the full moon's not due for another two days. Remind me to be elsewhere when that happens. Hmm, nothing showing on the compact. Maybe the info Dr. Crawley got about specters was wrong. Figures. The villagers around here have active imaginations. Ever see that movie, Temple of Disaster? No, why? Never mind. Take the north corridor, I'll go south. Fine. Oh, and Luke, if you run into any trouble, don't call. Ha, <laughs> funny. Another lousy wild goose chase. No monsters, it's just nerves. There's nothing to worry about. Sun. With the heat of the burning stars. Is this really necessary? Just do it. This amulet is a Shintai of Amaterasu, the Japanese goddess of the sun. It's said to contain many of her powers. If I were you, I wouldn't scoff at it. Uh, sorry, Doc. Now, let's try it again. Do me haft kai. Do me haft kai. I think we've made contact. Now we've done it. Look out! Ah! Let me try to mind link with them. Ah! Neutralize them!
You never know when these experiments will get out of hand. What was supposed to happen, Reed? I don't know, Shelly. Here, see if your psychic powers will let you link up with whatever's inside. Right, in my spare time. Hey, we're getting a fax. What is it? It's from a hospital in Cambodia. They found Trip. What? Is he alright? What happened? All it says is... he's unconscious. And there's no mention of Luke. That temple was a hot site. We'd better get to Cambodia. Now! We may need Frank. Can you find him? I'll do my best. <laughs> Who's there? What's so funny? The joke's on you, boy. Soon the moon will be full. <laughs> Who are you? Where's Trip? The master wanted only you. He, he let the other one go. <laughs> what are you talking about? What master? And I'd be very, very scared if I were you. <laughs> Mr. Renfield, please. Your gibbering will frighten the lad. Ah, Mr. Talbot, please pardon my servant. The gnome lacks manners. What do you want with me, Dracula? Luke, I understand you refuse to accept your true inner beast. I want to help you set him free. I want you to feel the true power that is your destiny. I won't be a monster like you. A monster? What? A monster has fangs. Well, right, perhaps I do. But what about the tail? Hmm. In certain forms, I can have one of those. You're wasting your breath. Ah, the young. So committed, so idealistic. Isn't that right, Renfield? E yes, Master. Innocent, but foolish. Luke, your so-called friends cannot understand your affliction as I do. Come the full moon, they'll hunt you as they would any monster. No! You're... You're wrong! Luke, they know you've been cursed. You've seen them stare at you. You know they fear you. No! They're my friends! Monsters have no friends. And you, Mr. Talbot. You are very definitely a monster. Oh, man. Come on, you guys. Where are you? Barker to Crawley. I've ID'd a vampire brood in Cambodia. Lots of activity. I'm uploading the data now, Doc. Barker over and out. All I remember is falling, then nothing. Where's Luke? We don't know. He's disappeared. But one of our MonsterNet people found his compad. Ladies? But there's nothing on the video playback. Vampires don't photograph. Lance, you're right. Let's get going. Fraulein, it is very dangerous to be this far out in the forest. I'll be fine. Set her down in that clearing up ahead. this forest, don't you? It is home. I worry about you, and I miss you. I miss you too, Shelley. 
We've got a problem. I need you to come with me. Problem? Luke's missing. Luke? I will come. We are leaving. Oh, but I was just getting used to this place. <laughs> Renfield, Luke is our guest. Sorry, but good help is so hard to find these days. So call the Union. Ah, it's good to see you in such feisty spirits. It will come in handy during tomorrow night's full moon. And I have plans for you, my friend. Whatever they are, it won't work. And I am not your friend. We'll see, Luke. We'll see. <laughs> it won't work, Dracula! <laughs> it won't work! We're ready. You can take off now. So, who is this? He's shy. Let's go. Yeah, and he's very big. Fly! Yes, sir. We fly, we fly now. Shelly, Crawley here. We've got a change of plans. Know where they've taken Luke. We found this in the ruins. It belongs to one of our operatives. Barker? He's disappeared right in this area. Emacs on! <laughs> Help me. Somebody please help me. Trip, stop. Look at his neck. We're too late. He's one of them now. Your eyes are too sharp, Doc. <sighs> now it's your turn to join us. Not in my lifetime. <laughs> Shelly! Hold him, FM! <laughs> the magnetic stasis field should control his temper for now. Reed, I found something. Come here. Ah, the compad reading's into the red. Reed, your scar. It's a reminder of my battles with Dracula. From the way it's pulsing, I know he's definitely been here. So is Luke. And he left us a message. Dragon. Well, Dracula does mean son of the dragon. Was Luke telling us Dracula was here? No, he'd know we'd figure that out for ourselves. It must be something else. Maybe Barker can help us. I should be able to psychically connect with him even though he's unconscious. Are you all right? I know where they've taken Luke. I hope you don't get seasick, Wolf Boy. We still have a long way to go. <laughs> Suckers! Luke, now do you understand? This is the power you will have when you become one of my monsters. Over there! The dragon! I hope we're not too late. That sounded like Luke! 
Your cohorts are so utterly predictable. It's almost no challenge at all. Reed, get out of here! It's a trap! <laughs> a gallant gesture, but totally futile. Come, children of the night. Come forth! Duty manifestations! Dracula's just raised the stakes. Oh yeah? That's not the only thing he's raised. Emacs, on! I don't know what's worse, the way these things look or the way they smell. <laughs> serve their purpose. Look! But we can follow them. It's just a boat. Don't count on it. Reed, I lost the amulet. I'm beginning to think the amulet is as important to Dracula as Luke is, and I have a hunch where they're headed. Do a quick search of the ship, but Dracula has probably set himself up in the island temple. You were right, Reed. Deserted. Right. Let's head to the temple. The site is hot, people. I could have told you that. Do you have the feeling that you're being watched? Oh, great. First they skip on airfare, and now someone's forgotten to pay the electric bill. The master will never let you go now. <laughs> I wouldn't bank on that creep. Who are you calling a creep, dog boy? It's safe. You don't have to get up on my account. Master, Master, they are here. The monster force has arrived. The monster force is upstairs. Go and entertain them. As for you, my young friend. Wonder who does their house cleaning. This was Amaterasu's chamber, where they worshipped the goddess of the sun. She'd come in handy about now. Tonight you will be mine, and Crawley will no longer be a thorn in my side. Reed's too smart for you, bloodsucker. You'll never beat him. I wouldn't dirty my hands trying. I'll leave that to you. Hey! You okay down there, Big Lug? <laughs> he wasn't calling you! Man, I hate those things. Had enough for one evening. It's over. You've lost, Dracula. The name is Dracul. You should know it by now, I would think. Fine, Dracul. Since you've got the amulet, let us have Luke back. You are hardly in a position to negotiate, my friend. With the amulet under my control, the sun will never be a nuisance to me again. <laughs> and as for Luke... The moon is full, and your young disciple is now mine. You are a creep.
creature of the supernatural, and you will obey me. Destroy them! Luke! Buddy, it's us! It's no use! The fur ball's out of control! Luke! No! Not fight, Luke! We're not going anywhere with that amulet! Luke, not monster! Luke! Luke, not monster! Friend. I'm not a monster! This belongs to us! It's mine! Mine! No! With the light of the unbridled sun, with the heat of the burning stars. That's it, Shelly. Master, the amulet! Crawley, we are not done, you and I. until I find the werewolf that did this to me and my family and end it once and for all. I almost hurt all of you. Luke, you're an important part of this team. Nothing you do will change that. Friends. Friends. Halloween night, you'll be scared silly. Really? Ready to have a frightfully good time with Disney's scary tales of Halloween. At night, there's terror in the eye. There's no reason to panic. Hair racing fun. Airplane. Then at 11. I think I got something in my eye. Monstrous fun on Nightco. <laughs> it's so much fun, it's scary. Halloween night on Fox 36. It's me, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, that video cutie who makes the boys stand up and salute -y. Well, it's time to reach into the old vault for today's video treasure. <laughs> Boy, talk about scraping the bottom of the barrel. Woo, smells like a really ripe one. Let's see, it's Killers from Space. Oh yeah, right. Well, I'll just stick this where the sun don't shine. No, not there. In the VCR. There we go. I bet you're thinking Killers from Space is one of those movies about teeny little men from outer space who fly around. 
looking for a soft place to land. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. <laughs> Little men from outer space. <laughs> that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. What the? What are you, what are you guys doing? We're circling ground zero at radius of 7.5 miles. Well, I know I'm big, but I'm not that big. What's that thing shining below? Hey, what are you, a couple of peeping Tom Thumbs? Take her in closer. Hey, buddy, wait, wait, he's up on your joystick. And we're in trouble. Pull out. Pull out! I can't, I can't! Phew. Well, I'm sure glad they weren't on a mission to the moon. All right, you two interplanetary perverts. Just for that, you're gonna have to sit here with me and watch killers from space. The plane, boss, the plane. To many, it is modern day folklore. To others, it is simply tabloid headlines. But to a select few, it is the ultimate reality. Intergalactic aliens have arrived on Earth now. They move among us. Only one top secret elite group of trained professionals has the ability to detect these extraterrestrial beings. B.A.D. The Bureau of Alien Detectors. Led by Squadron Leader Sergeant Ben Packer, military war hero, Special Agent Shane Sanderson, life science expert, Moose Tringanu, alien encounter survivor, Colin Marcus, computer specialist, and Casey Taylor, psychic communicator. Together, they have only one mission, to confront, control, and contain all alien encounters. Together, they are B.A.D., the Bureau of Alien Detectors. came from the bowels of the earth, without a warning. Powerful, unrelenting, uprooting trees, disabling highways, the unseen behemoth appeared unstoppable. All too often we spend our time monitoring the skies above, never suspecting the greatest threat may lie dormant under us. Where did it come from? We don't know. Why did it emerge now? An even bigger mystery. A mystery soon to unfold into an even greater danger. Lunch is ready. Okay, coming. How's the stew? I had worse. There any more? <gasps> you feel that? It's a quake. It's coming! What? What is it? Is it over? Shake and stop. It moved! Honey, it's just that. No! Look! Hurry! Up there! It's over, sweetheart. You're telling us that a mammoth rock surfaced, looked around, and then disappeared back into the ground? That's what they said. It's a sinkhole. That's what the press is being told. It's not shaped like any sinkhole I've ever seen. Because it isn't one. See those dirt mounds? They're 15 feet across. Some stretch for half a mile. Something is burrowing out there. Something big. If it can suck down a farmhouse, just think of the problems it could cause if it ever hit a city. We'd be playing office tower dominoes. Let's find it. Ah! 
something dug this? That's one big mole. Sanderson's found something. Definite signs of animal burrowing. It's just that this animal is literally as big as a house. I spoke with the farmers. Same story. A big rock did this. Rocks don't move, Casey. This one did. The mystery wasn't getting any clearer. So we went to the site that appeared to be the origin of the creature's emergence. Life science officer Shane Sanderson was heading the investigation. Hey, Shane, you got anything that'll help us? Well? You know what this is? A mess of goo. Right, but what kind of goo? You tell us. Well, I'm not positive, and I still have to run some tests. Just tell us, Shane. It's kind of like what you'd find in an egg after the animal inside is hatched. Now, I know it sounds weird, but that's what I think it is. You're telling us that something hatched inside a rock. Uh-huh, but not any rock. That rock. Get this. The age of this stuff. 50,000 years. You're sure? As sure as I can be. You're telling us that a prehistoric animal incubated in that rock? That's it. Pure and simple. And if we then believe what the farmer and his wife told us, the thing is also a burrower. You're with me. You too, Moose. We're gonna follow this thing's trail, if we can. You and Shane pack this stuff up and move this lab to the sinkhole. Use the ATV. Let's move it. Whatever it is, it's making itself easy to follow. We've got trouble. How bad? I plotted the course of the mound. If it continues in the same direction it's headed, this rock thing is gonna burrow right under a small town about 20 miles ahead. And send the entire town right into one gigantic sinkhole. We've gotta stop it. Agreed. But how? We can't even see it. Maybe we can get ahead of the creature and force it to stop. I wonder why this thing hatched now, after so many thousands of years. I've been thinking about that too. And? I don't think we'll ever know for sure, but... But you have a theory. Well, it's a wild one. Look, it just couldn't have that long of an incubation period. No way. Then something stopped it. Right. And what if that something was the weather? The last ice age? Our weather's been changing, getting hotter all the time. It could have had an effect. Which means there could be more eggs out here just waiting to hatch. And that is the scariest theory of all. Sarge, the burrowing has stopped at that mound up ahead. Maybe it's resting and we can get a look at it. Moose, put a blast right in front of that mound. On its way. Good job, Moose. Now, let's take a look. That thing's enormous. It's got to lay 20 tons or more. Well, at least now we know what we're fighting. I'm going in for a closer look. We'll monitor your instruments from here, Moose, for later analysis. Hey, Sarge, I understand why they thought this giant insect was a rock. It is a head that looks like granite. Our scanners showed no internal injuries to the creature resulting from the blast. It's gonna take a lot more firepower to stop that baby. Well, at least we got it on the surface. I'll make another pass and see if I can change its course away from the town. Find anything? Well, I ran the slime on the ground next to the rock egg, and the closest I can match it to is insect secretions that the queens of some species use to attract a mate. Queen? Then it's female? I think so. You think she's out looking for a mate? Or a home. A home? Shane, you've hit on something. What's wrong, Casey? I just got a strong sense of being followed. You see anything out there? Nothing. Me neither. But it is out there. I know it. What's out there? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe if the queen is looking for a home, she's got a reason. Hatchlings. It's just a possibility. A good one. Let's go. Now. I can't budge that thing with simple flyby, Sarge. It just ignores me. Well, something's gotten its attention, Moose. Wait. It's turning towards town again. Moose, watch out! You don't have to spell it out for me, Sarge. I'll stop it. Didn't make a dent. Let's go to the heavy stuff, Moose. Got my vote. 
switching to ion exploding bullets. Bombers, uh, the rock. And somebody just noticed me. I've uncaged an air to ground. Stay clear. Don't take all day, Sarge. Get out of my face. You got it, Sarge. Of that. Where'd that come from? Hold on! I'm losing control! Brace yourself! Uh, ah! That's it, boys. Easy, easy, down, down. All right, release the cables. Amazing. The outer shell looks about two feet thick. That much firepower would have leveled a city block. Well, we saved about 20 city blocks. Take it to the hangar, guys. I've never seen anything like it. I've seen all I want of it. What was that? Well, wouldn't you know, it's got family. <laughs> Where'd that one come from? Same place as the other one. Underground. <laughs> We got the last one when the missile hit its belly. We've got to get it to expose its underside. This one's mine. Drop me a plasma charge, Sarge, and fast! <laughs> Can't let your giant bugs get to the town! Your picnic ends right here! <laughs> Good job, Moose. You stopped it. This can't be. There's more of them surfacing. All over the area. Moose! Colin! There's more coming! Watch out! Watch out! Where? Where, Sarge? Everywhere! Let's get out of here! This way! Ah! Oh, great! Dead end! We're surrounded! You all right, Case? Well, I have felt better. I think you were right. This sinkhole is smaller than the one at the farm. It could be it was made by one of the rock creature's kids. Look at this. This end is balanced on that rock. The vehicle is unstable. And you think we can use that... To push it over. Uh, uh, this just might work. Uh oh. Look. Shane, I sense they're in a panic, looking for something. Shane, they're all around us. Think we can outrun them? Do we have a choice? Just keep your fingers crossed we don't run into another sinkhole. Nice try.
driving. I think we're in the clear. For now, get on the radio to Sarge. We've got to tell him what we've discovered. Let's haul it, Moose! jet into stone with some kind of gas. Where did you say these 20 ton bugs came from? Apparently from ancient eggs, sir. What are they after? We're not sure about that. Yeah, we are. Special Agent Sanderson? Or at least I think we are. These others are her offspring. She leaves a trail of this stuff for her hatchlings to follow. Her scent is irresistible. Are you saying these are like ants or bees looking for their queen? And you neutralized the queen? We had to. Or at least we thought we had to at the time. Where is she, the queen? Right here. Which means you have a herd of 20-ton bugs descending on your position who are about to discover you blew up their queen. Get ready to move this bird out of here. Yes, sir. Shane, you think you're a hotshot driver, right? I don't think it, Sarge. I know it. If it goes, I can make it go faster. Well, you're going to get the chance to prove it. Now, we've got a herd of angry bugs out there who can crush a lot of innocent people. And we don't have the power to stop them. But we do have something they want. If those bugs want their queen, they're going to have to catch us. Shadowhawk, go! We're gone. Moose, clear the door of the bugs, now! You got it, Sarge. Raining bullets, now! Do it. It's done. Hang on! Careful, Shane. We don't want to lose our bait. Colin, where's the nearest lake? There's one about six miles west, Sarge. Why? You think these prehistoric bugs of yours can swim? Weighing 20 tons? Not a chance. That's what I thought. Man, I love rigs like this. Just don't outrun them. Colin, I need an estimate. A good one. I show the first row of rock bugs getting to you in nine seconds. Don't cut it too close. Shane. Come on, guys. Get out. Ready? You know it.
Looking good, guys. They're all going in. As long as they don't come up. Are they? Nope. They're sinking like the rocks they are. There have been no reported sinkholes in the past 48 hours. Well done, Team 22C. Thank you, sir. Any chance I could get some time away, Sarge? For what? Well, to tell you the truth, I'd like to spend some time out at that first rock egg we found. You think there's more to be learned, Sandman? You know it. I'll bet that place is crawling with scientists by now. Yeah, you're probably right. I'd just be tripping over them. Something the matter, Casey? I'm not sure. Just a feeling. But something's still out there. Hey, there's always something still out there. I guess you're right there, Sarge. The Sarge was right. There is always something out there. Aliens can come from the heaven above, the earth below, or even the watery deep. That's why we can never rest. We're the Bureau of Alien Detectors. Dead End Drive, where you can get rich by accident. It's nighty night for the hairdressers. Someone will inherit a fortune, but everyone's dying to bump you off. A little trip for the fortune teller. First out of 13 Dead End Drive, while their picture is above the mantle, wins. Lights out for the boyfriend. The fun's alive with 13 Dead End Drive. Look out. Think of this Halloween. Toys R Us is your Halloween headquarters. You'll find every trick or treat under the moon. A monstrous selection of costumes and a dungeon full of decorations. At prices so low, you'll howl. So this Halloween, bring the entire family to Toys R Us for a Halloween selection so huge. It's scary. <laughs> Taco Bell presents Nacho and Dog. Nacho, is your costume on yet? Okay, I'm ready. Finally. Ta-da! Ooh, what are you supposed to be? I'm a bean burrito! Now when you buy a Taco Bell kids meal, you can get a Goosebumps toy. Get the wrapping mummy, the snowmobile, or more. But beware, you're in for a scare. You can collect all four Goosebumps toys at Taco Bell. Oh, how cute, a bean burrito. And what are you? Taco Bell! Fetch that food, dog! There's an odd, unexplained phenomenon haunting Pizza Hut. Is it another worldly spirit compelling these people to eat their pizza the wrong way? No, it's new stuffed crust pizza with a ring of cheese baked in the edge of a totally new, thinner crust. Incoming. And with a large just $9.99, every living person will be eating it the wrong way crust first. Hey, look! I'm eating like a fleshy tooth! <laughs> and even so, not so living. You love the stuff we made of Pizza Hut!
Stay awake, Raze. I can see the blood in McSlam's eye from here. I'm there. <laughs> Eat sad, booty. Watch for his fake out. I knew it. Ah! You need brains to fool a monster, McSlime, most of the time. Look out, Bones! Raze attempts it, but it's out of bounds! What? I'm supposed to let my bud get thrashed? When we're on the court, Raze, you got no friends. It's all about winning. Well, that's gratitude. Block about desperation! The kid's as subtle as a porcupine in a balloon factory as he tries to distract the magician! Look alive, Razor! You almost blew that return. Now concentrate so we can bring this game home. I'm cranking my best. Maybe your best isn't good enough. Rule! Justice rules again! Justice? What am I, Chop Lizard? Oh, Bones is right. My best ain't worth squat. With the league becoming more aggressive and more competitive every year, there's been an alarming resurgence of bio-enhancing stimulants such as methacyclone, abused by the once spectacular athlete Rimshot, he unfortunately was never able to reunite with his body. Another stimulant resurfacing known as Buzz was the bioenhancer of choice for many athletes, most notably Smash Robbins. Once legal for norms, it was taken off the market due to severe side effects to mutants. Perhaps Grim McSlam said it best after he survived his experience with the agitator. Drugs are for bloody losers. Play smart, play clean. This is Sherry Steele with... Play smart, play clean. Easy for you to say. You don't have Bones Justice on your team. I heard Buzz was dangerous. Who cares? My points per game average is twice what it was before. Damn. Check out the alley behind Fly Taco. Get yourself set up. Buzz. <laughs> I like it. What's up, Punchy? I was, uh, looking for some... buzz. Bread, Fred. How do I know it... How do I know it works? <laughs> First timer, huh? <laughs> Careful. <laughs> Everything stinks around here. This stuff works. The kid will be hotter than justice. <laughs> We're back live at the Doom Doom where the monsters are trouncing the screaming evils. No! for someone whose best ain't good enough, huh?
I'll be watching you, kid. <laughs> You'll be watching my dust, bimbozoid. <coughs> Back already? I had a big game. I needed all of it. First game on the bus. <laughs> Felt like you owned the world, didn't you? <coughs> Nothing like it. Don't rush it. Baby, I'm on the fast track to the good life. Slow down. Speed kills. Man, ain't nobody left with gratitude these days. What a display of athletic gunning! Don't worry, it'll fade. Always does. That's not the razor I know. We're in the Doom Dome where the monsters are giving the Derangers a hard time! Bones drops back, 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 back! Ouch! Someone get him a band-aid! He does it! The kid pulls the monsters into the lead! Man, this stuff is wild! What is the deal with that? Rage, talk to me. What's going down? You are, bro. Is that supposed to be a joke? Yeah, and you're the punchline. I need some water, bro. Agua! Hey! We're in the middle of the game! Reality check, muters. Let's thrash it. You gotta pace yourself. Yo, it's not my fault the buzz you're selling is weak. <laughs> Customer's always right. Uh, I'm a little short. Hey, no dough, no glow. Business is business. Cut me some slack, man. I I'm hurting. This stuff's got me Weezak, bro. <laughs> All right, but only because I care. Give me everything you got. Watch, cash, the whole enchilada. What's the product? Because my client's got integrity. Sunglasses? He'll be there. <laughs> Eleven endorsements in two hours. Am I cooking or what? King here. What's the product? Lizard leather goods? Uh, you gotta be kidding. <laughs> Some people are so greedy. Got to get me some more buzz, man. It's the only way to fly. Stylin! Mm. Neat game, Riser. Mo and Sputer wanted to know if you'd like to join us for the all-you-can-eat fly taco lunch. The all-you-can-eat fly taco lunch. Do I strike you as the type of cat who hangs with losers? I didn't think so. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got some real mutants to see. Eat that dead meat! Hey, relax. <laughs> Stuff's not fruit juice. <sighs> D-Zang! Where's the kick? Give it time. It ain't magic. Man, this is whacked. I got a big game tonight. Oh, styling. Hey, you can't abuse this stuff.
Any friends on the court, remember? You're out of control. You're hurting the team. What? Just because you're not top dog anymore. I'm number one now, bro. You're nose diving, Rays, and when you crash, it's gonna hurt like nothing you ever felt on the field. Man, you just can't stand it, can you? So when your appetite dictates, come on over to Slyfaco. Cut! Flysaco! Tyraco! Spikies! It hurts so good! Ah! Cut! We're losing the light hand, the actor. I swear I'll make good for it. J just give me some more buzz, man. It feels like I'm losing my mind. Nobody twisted your arm. <laughs> you made the choice. You gotta live with it. There's gotta be something. <laughs> Always wanted a championship ring. Not the championship ring. No more endorsements. You hear any phones jangling, babe? But I'm a star. Stars fade. They're old news. Yesterday's lunch. You don't let the door hit you on the way out. Listen, you blood-sucking, money-grubbing leech. Don't forget the parasitic. <laughs> <laughs> don't call me. Uh, I'll call you. Bones, bro, you in there? <laughs> Showtime. <laughs> Bro, dude, I didn't even hear you come in. What's shaking? What are you doing? Oh, that, hey, looking for my blades, man. From the last hockey match. Don't got a clue where I could have left those puppies. But they ain't here, right? So I'll just boogie. Catch you later, Bones. No, I'll catch you. Yo. Still buzzing, cousin? Save your breath, just give me the merchandise, times two. Take it from a pro. <laughs> Don't spend it all in one place. They never listen. Much better. I can't let you do this anymore. What? Don't what me. Give me the stuff. Oh, you mean this? No. These are vitamins. I don't think so. Mrs. M, call the medics. Hang on, Rays. 
I'm with you. Juka, is he going to be okay? To prognosticate a recovery at this time would be premature. Well, there's got to be something we can do. Affirmative. Considering the severity of his condition, he can have only one visitor at a time. Can't you put him in the rejuvenator or something? This is not a musculature or soft tissue injury. This is a weakness in Razor. He must overcome it himself. Please do not handle me again. My patience for athletes is wearing thin. Sorry I let you down. You let yourself down? Why'd you do it? Guess I was tired of being second best. Raise if I made you feel that way, I'm sorry. I happen to think you're pretty great. <laughs> Jeez, don't get mushy on me, bone man. I'll get help. Juka! Nothing you can do to help him now. He must endure the recovery process. His body must cleanse itself. But he needs me. He needs to face the consequences of his actions. He is lucky to be alive. Not many get that chance. Take no prisoners, bro. Continuing our report on the resurgence of bio-enhancing stimulants, we have learned that Razor Kid has admitted to being hooked on Buzz, the wonder drink unfortunately making the rounds once again in the sports circuit. Pulled from the shelves several years ago due to its radical physiological side effects, we at MLSN cannot reiterate often enough, play smart, play clean. This one's for you, Riggs. Hi, my name is Razor Kid, and I'm a buzzaholic.
It's the Pizza Head Show. Hey, everybody. I'm on my way to Pizza Hut to get a Goosebumps Kids Pack. Yay! Almost there. Hey, this isn't the right way. Well, Scarecrow Steve says it is. He's no Scarecrow. Sure he is. Ooh. Uh-oh, I think I hope the neighbors. Look, Pizza Head, you'll be perfectly safe in there. Uh, okay. Relax, the Goosebumps guys just want you for dinner. See you in the next lifetime. Now you can collect one of three ghoulish Goosebumps glow and tell story card sets when you buy a Pizza Hut Kids Pack. has taken their love of fear one step too far. Uh, we know you're not the killer. Solving this mystery... Everybody's a suspect! ...is going to be murder. Who are you? The question is, where am I? We all go a little mad sometimes. Scream, the new thriller from Wes Craven, rated R. Weather got some little monsters up tight. Make it a blockbuster night. Blockbuster has something for everyone. Even the fussiest little beasts settle down to enjoy blockbuster. I just love a family night. If the weather is a fright, make it a blockbuster night. Just give us a smile. Aces. Hola. A deflator mouse? Hi, it's Arthur. Can you get down to the furniture store right away? Roger, Arthur. Hey, wait a second. Is this some kind of superhero emergency? Uh, no. We need you to help us pick out some furniture. Oh, furniture. I'll be right there. It's about time you got rid of that flea-bitten pile of junk in your place. You know, a good decorating strategy is the hallmark of a, a distinguished gentleman. Yes, well, Arthur and I need big furniture. Superhero furniture. You know, hewn from the great trees of our ancient forests. Forged from iron ore freshly mined from the Earth's fertile depths. Yes, but on a budget. Well, yeah, okay. Huge, but cheap. Quite the decorating challenge. Step aside, boys. I'm on the case. Ah, French colonial. They had craftsmen then. Ooh, and speaking of well put together. Oh, la, senorita. I see you're admiring the Louis XVI. Actually, this is a Queen Anne. It's a common mistake. Ah, now this is truly a beautiful piece. Perfect for infighting. Infighting? Okay. 
Let the rabble have their cheap dinette sets and vinyl couches. Give me furniture that lives and breathes, that pulsates with the toil. Oh, keep making that mouth music beautiful. I'm reading you like a cheap paperback. Yes. Yes, I believe you do understand. Here's a beautiful thought, gorgeous. Prepare for the return of the Ottoman Empire. Hey, hey, I didn't catch your name. Oh, intoxicating. Ah, uh, now this is a place to park your pudding. Huh? Hey, cool. Now, if I hurry, I might just be able to catch up with the most alluring creature I've ever laid eyes on. Wow! Tick, there you are. Where have you been? I didn't realize furniture technology had made such great strides. Huh? What are, what are you talking about? What furniture? It left. What do you mean, it left? It didn't just walk away. Oh, yes, Arthur, it did. The furniture is moving by itself. That's not supposed to happen. It's not. You face the tick! Not so fast, my little wooden friend. Cheat! Mass-produced! Do it yourself! Prefab! Hey, nice piece. Oh, mahogany inlay. Great veneer. Okay, let's go, let's go! Lift those legs! From now on, you're all mine! with me. Cut it out! Cut it out! Come on, lady. Call off your muscle. Let him go. So you're evil, huh? Yeah. Well, it's always something. <laughs> Take that! Shut Until we meet again. Messes with the Fuleta Mouse, baby! Good work. And now, the highlight of our tour, and the moment you've all been waiting for, the museum's prize exhibit, the world's most comfortable chair. Oh! How do you like the chair? I like the chair very much. Do you find the chair comfortable? Yes. Sitting in this chair is the best thing I've ever done. Good. Okay. Thank you. You can go. No. No. I am never, ever getting out of this chair. No. 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 Perhaps by now, some of you have guessed it. Yes, I am that man. And even though I finally escaped the terrible comfort of this chair, I've never left its side. Well, you're about to now, old man. What? I claim this furniture in the name of the Ottoman Empire. Come to your empress. My wish is your command. I don't know what your game is, sister, but you'll never get away with it. There'll be blizzards in July before I let you steal the... <gasps> Hello, old friend. You have all just witnessed a small demonstration of my powers. Soon my furniture army will be complete. We will bring the city to its knees! <laughs>
Hick, come on, man. Stay cool. I'm cool. Hick, shh. We're trying to sneak in. She may already be inside. Well, what makes you think she'll come here at all? Oh, Ivan's has the biggest collection of furniture in the city. Anyone putting together a furniture army would have to come here. How do we get in? Ah! Arthur! Later, Mouse! It's okay! I landed on bean bags! Come on down! Dick, be quiet! Yeah, clam up! Okay! Oh, oh pardon me. <laughs> Very sorry. You! you. I thought I might find you here. What's going on in that pretty little head? <laughs> well, I'm amassing a lethal army of furniture to take over the city and rule in tyranny. Say, just who are you anyway, stranger? You and your ears and that big goofy smile. I'm the guy who's going to sweep you off your feet. How's dinner in a movie, say, Thursday? But we come from two different worlds, Deflator Mouse. You're good and I'm, well, I'm evil. Tomato, tomato, we'll work around it. American maid, what are you doing here? It's called crime fighting, remember? Sleuthing, staking a place out. For your information, I had everything under control. Dinner and a movie Thursday doesn't sound like control to me, but it's perfect for villains with too much eye makeup planning on taking over the city. <laughs> Who's your girlfriend? Oh, she's not my girlfriend. She's just someone I work with. There she is! Pack it in, Ottoman. You've heisted your last high boy. Gentlemen, have a seat. <laughs> your little game of musical chairs is over. Work, Tick. Well, thank you, Arthur. The key is going against the grain. The Tick's trapped in the world's most comfortable chair. Tick, you've got to fight it. Evil is on the loose. Oh, evil's bad. The Ottoman is about to take over the city. The city's nice. Hey, hey. Evil is bad. Must save city. Get off of me. You little creep. Oh. Whoa. Ooh, doesn't get much comfier than that. What do you have to say for yourself, hmm? Anything? Well, I think I pulled a tendon or something. Your little crush on the ottoman nearly got us all creamed. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Falling in love with a supervillain is trouble with a capital trub. Everybody just butt out. I'm not in love with her. I'm Deflator Mouse. The only person I'm in love with is me, and I'm out of here. Trouble with a capital trub. Big blue freak. What does he know? <sighs> oh, but what do I know? How can I love a supervillain? I'm a superhero. <sighs> What sweet torture. Mm. 
say, this is a little bit of all right. Glad you like it. I must be crazy. What am I doing here? It's love, darling. Don't try to fight it. You could have this every night, you know. Mmm, fruit plate. Oh, the Fledermas. Once we're married, we can rule the city side by side. Married? <laughs> married? Yes, married. Oh, we'll be such a handsome couple, sowing fear and discontent throughout the land, together for the rest of our lives. All so sudden. Rest of our lives? Ugh, air getting thin. It's just that marriage is kind of a big word for me. Not that you're not the one, baby, but I've been burnt in the past, and I'm not trying to say that I'm not a commitment kind of guy. It's just that, well, you'll be working such long hours, sowing fear and all, we'd never get to see each other. Silence! Do you reject a cherished place next to the throne of the Empress? Ottoman, there will be no justice of the peace for you, just a big piece of justice! You! How dare you people of all the rude insolence! Attack my children! Defend the Empire! Attack! <laughs> Mouse, I can give you everything you've ever dreamed of. Hmm. Loyal colleague, helps a lot of people, wouldn't let me fall. Wants to tie me down, force for evil. Airplane! Ah! And towards the front of the plane, you might just be able to make out five people in costumes having a fight with some dining room furniture. You know, you're in a lot of trouble, my friend. You are out of control. We're falling! No! <laughs> yeah, looks like I'm going solo. No! Thanks, Arthur. I owe you one. <laughs> no problem. Don't mention. Tick! Tick! You're okay. I thought maybe... Well, I... I didn't know what to think. <laughs> well, you're very kind to be so concerned, little Mothman. You and your cleaning woman here must be my guests for dinner this evening at my villa. You know, uh, you didn't really have to save me back there. Not save you, my sweet? And who would rule beside me during my glorious reign over the city? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> hey, how stupid of me. And it will be glorious, won't it, darling? Just the two of us, the Empress and her adoring helpmate growing old together. Oh, you'll marry me, my sweet. You have no choice. Oh, man. the Ottoman has amassed an army of furniture formidable enough to overpower the city's defenses, she appears to have diverted her energies to the pursuit of a single man, Deflator Mouse, one of the city's lesser heroes. We'll have more as the story develops. Susparilla and fresh horses for all my men. Hmm. I'm worried about the tick. I don't think falling 4,000 feet and getting hit by a subway train did him any good. Conserve energy, little Mothman, for tonight we Dance. The tick will be fine, Arthur. Right now, we've got to find Deflator Mouse. The Ottoman won't be far behind. Deflator Mouse? Are you okay? If we don't put that crazy dame away, she's gonna marry me. Get down. Close the shades. <laughs> oh, no. Let's get up to the roof. I've got a plan. Uh, uh, uh. Tick, 
Grab the comfortable chair. I'm to be addressed as Duchess. <sighs> okay, Duchess. Lock that chair up to the roof. <gasps> Splendid. Do you understand the plan, t uh, Duchess? The Duchess? Is she here? Bully. So, the Pleasure Mouse, you refuse to marry me? Fine! Well, then you'll be destroyed with the rest of them. I'm no stranger to loneliness. I grew up lonely. No brothers, no sisters, no playmates, no pets. The only friends I had were furniture. I played with furniture, I talked to furniture, I listened to furniture. I thought I was furniture. Until I was 13, I was a coffee table. No! Now! Now! Righto! Maybe I don't have to be evil anymore. Maybe I can just sit in this chair. This is all the furniture I need. Oh, Arthur, American maid, what's doing? Don't ever try to marry me again. Why would anyone want to marry you? Why would anyone want to do anything but sit in this lovely chair? Oh, look, Arthur, it's a completely rehabilitated villain. She's comfortable with herself. Comfort, commitment, marriage, what do these things have in common? The letter C except for marriage. And if people get all British whenever they get knocked on the head, what do British people get? I know. Comatose! Another C. Tick, it's great to have you back to normal. You too, Arthur.